Sample test cases. Hello guys. Welcome to Sample Test Cases. I am from Sample Test Cases. Today, we will see the tricky interview questions and answers for software testing. They can ask, tell me something about yourself. You should start with your name. Then where are you belongs to? What degree did you get and when with your university name? Then you can tell them about your past experience in software testing. Along with your past experience, tell them what you are good at and what did you work on it. Like HRMS and e-commerce domain etc. So your answers sample looks like this. My name is your name. I belongs to your city name. I graduated from university name with a B.Tech in 2020. I have one year of experience in the software testing field. I have worked in HRMS and e-commerce domains. I am good at regression testing and designing test cases. Let's move on to the next question. The question is what are the types of software testing? It is a simple answer. Just tell them type of software testing. So, there are two types of software testing. The first one is functional testing. The second one is non-functional testing. Moving on to the next question. So the question is, what is the difference between functional and non-functional testing? Start your answer with the main points, then go to the lowest point. By giving them the main point, your answer's impression increase, and also give example. So the answer is, in difference between functional testing and non-functional testing. In function testing, based on how well the system works, in non-function testing, depending on how well the system works, based on the client's requirements, based on the client's expectations, it was done before the non-functional testing. This was done after functional testing. It is easy to define functional testing requirements. It is hard to define non-functional testing requirements. It is easy to perform in manual testing. It is difficult to perform in manual testing. You can give types. The type of functional testing. Unit testing. Integrity testing, etc. Functional testing types. Performance testing. UI testing, etc. Let's go to the next question. The question is, what is STLC, and what are the phases? First, give the full form of STLC. STLC stands for Software Testing Life Cycle. Now describe it. STLC phases activities, which should be carried out systematically to help the evaluation of software application. Give all the phases. Requirements and analysis. Test planning. Test design. Test implementation. Test execution. Test closure. This is an adequate response. Moving on to the next question. So the question is what is a bug defect? So the bug defect is a variance between the actual result and the expected result. Let's see the next question. What is the bug life cycle is the question. First explain the bug defect life cycle. A bug or defect life cycle is a process where a defect goes through different stages. Tell them different stages with short descriptions. New, when a defect is identified. Assigned, assigned to dev. Open, when developer open a defect. Fixed, when dev resolved a defect. Retest, when testers retest the defect. Closed, when a defect is non-reproducible. A defect can be duplicated, rejected, deemed not to be a bug or deferred. They can ask, what is the traceability matrix? Give them what is it? The simple answer is that it traces the requirements of an application. So the sample answer looks like this. A traceability matrix is one kind of document that is used in software testing to trace the requirements of an application. Describe it more. So, it will be helpful to track the project requirements by the forward requirements to coding and backward coding to requirements tracing methods. Moving on to the next question. The question is, what are the attributes of a defect report? Simply give them the attribute names. Give them all the name of the attributes of the defect report. As many as you know, so, the attributes of a defect report are Defect ID Defect title Problem summary Steps to reproduce Actual result Expected result Severity Priority Attachment Let's go to the next question. The question is, what is cross-browser testing? Give them definition. Cross-browser testing is a process of testing to compare 
and analyze the behavior of a web application in different browser environments. There is no need for more descriptions. Moving on to the next question. So, the question is, what is compatibility testing? Compatibility testing is a non-functional test. Give some more details. When we test the software in different environments, like different versions, devices, browsers, and networks, it is called compatibility testing. They can ask for differences like the difference between regression testing and retesting, the difference between smoke testing and sanity testing, the difference between verification and validation. We have already made a video of this difference. You can check out this differences link in the description and also on the i button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and on our website where there are many test cases, differences, and tricky interview questions and answers for software testing and many more. So visit the website linked in the description. You can also follow us on Instagram. You can provide feedback by leaving a comment. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you for watching.